bunker silos. What are they? What do they do? How do they work? What they are, are two to three concrete walls and typically a floor, but not always. And what they do is act as an alternative way to make silage so you don't have to bale and wrap grass. How do they work? Well, it's a several step process, but it's actually really simple. The first step to the process is to mow the grass. The second step is to use a windrower to pile the grass into swaths that are easily picked up. Once you have your swaths, you can collect your grass either with a tractor and a forage wagon, or with a forage harvester with a grass pickup header towing a trailer. Alternatively, if you use a forage harvester with a mower head, you can mow and pick up the grass in one step. If you'd rather use corn for silage, you can do that with a forage harvester with a corn header, and you can forage harvest the corn at least one stage before it's fully ready to harvest. For the next step, you need to have a bunker silo. So if you go into your build menu, go under silos, there are several base game silos to choose from, from 25,000, 60,000, 65,000, 120,000, and 140,000 dollars. They will hold a lot of silage. It doesn't specify, but the larger ones are in the hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of liters of silage. So we'll go with the small one. The bunker silos snap 90 degrees to the grid. And so if we place one down, they also are the only buildings in the game that will snap to each other. Once you have your bunker silo and you've harvested some grass or corn, the next step is simple. You just drive into your bunker silo and then using control and I, you unload After you've filled your silo as much as you're going to, the next step you have to do is to compact the grass or chaff that's in there. You can do that by driving over it with a tractor back and forth. You can also use a leveler at this point to help you smooth out and level what's in the bunker silo. It takes a little cooling with, but you can adjust this a bit and try to get it as smooth as you'd like it to be. You can also use a compactor to help the compaction process go quicker. Just drop it down, drive back and forth your silo. You can tell how compacted it is and how much you need to do by looking in the help menu. You can see we have 125,825 liters right now and we're at 45% compaction. So if we continue to drive back and forth you'll see that number go up quickly. If you look in the upper right hand corner, there's also the bunker silo information there. That is from the bunker silo HUD mod. It's a very helpful mod when you're doing a lot of silage work because you can see the information on the bunker silo with the help window closed. So you don't have to have that window open to see all the information on it. Another very useful mod for doing this is the crop growth stage info, 
which will tell you exactly what stage your crop's growth is at, what tires you can use on the field, whether you can use all tires or if you need narrow tires, if you're playing with crop destruction on. And it also will put in parentheses behind what stage it is. If it's in a stage that you can forage or if it's all the way into the harvest stage. Those mods can both be found in the in-game mod hub. And we're at 100%. Once your silo is as full as you want it to be, and you've compacted it to 100%, you'll get the option to use R to blanket the silo. This will set the fermenting in action. If you look at the bottom of the help window or at the bunker silo HUD, you can see fermenting right now is at 0%. Now all you do is wait Now, the fermenting silage is at 100%. The bunker silo HUD has a bit of an issue where it'll stop at 96%. It'll never read 100. But if you look at it, R will now open the silo. You only get that option if it's fully fermented. So if we walk up to it and hit R, it'll open this end of the silo. Next, we need to load it. To unload, you want to use a wheel loader, a front loader, or a skid steer, or even a forage wagon. And you drive it into it. As you do, start picking up the silage. You'll see that the bunker silo will continue to open in front of us. And then you load it into your waiting trailer of some sort that will take silage. From here, you can take the silage and sell it, or you can use it to feed cows, or you can make TMR with it. And that's the process from beginning to end. An alternative method to either making bales and wrapping them or using a bunker silo is to use a mod like the silage factory. The silage factory costs $75,000. Just place it down. Then you fill it with either grass that you've collected or with chaff, which is what you get when you use the corn header and you forage harvest the corn. Once you've put either grass or chaff into the silage factory, you can make either hay out of the grass, silage out of the grass, or silage out of the chaff. It uses either 100 chaff or 100 grass to make 80 silage 2,400 times a month for $48 a month. Or it uses 100 grass to make 80 hay 2,400 times a month for $48 a month. If we activate the silage, it will run fairly quickly. Once your production has run its course, or as it's being made, you simply pull a trailer underneath it, hit R, select if you want grass, silage, hay, or chaff back out of it. We'll take our silage, and then we could go use it to make TMR, feed our cows, or sell. And that's it for silage. We've gone over in another video how to do grass work and wrap bales to make silage. Today we went over how to use a bunker silo and how to use the silage factory mod. The other mods that I used 
were the bunker silo HUD. So you can see the status of your bunker silo without opening your help menu. And the crop growth stage info, so you can see what stage your crop is at and know when it's ready to forage and what tires you can use on your fields. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. Uh, consider liking and subscribing if you like this content and want more Farming Simulator content. And good luck on your farms. Happy farming!